Design is all around us. There are things, places, experiences, and systems that are all designed. Different types of designers create these things to solve everyday complaints and really serious problems. Industrial designers create things, products you can buy to make something in your life easier. Here's a cool example, a toaster that you can see through. Have you ever burnt toast? This design solves that problem. You can easily see how toasty the bread is getting. Another type of designer is an interior designer. Interior designers design all kinds of places. This fun example is of a classroom. The interior designer made three different areas, a stage, open workspace, and concentration cubbies. A lot can happen in a classroom, and this design solves the problem of needing to do all different things in one space. Designers also think about making sure you have a good experience. People who think about this and create these things are experienced designers. At a hospital, experienced designers created walls that have light up animals moving on them. The designers did this to make the hospital more calming because hospitals can sometimes be really scary or stressful places. The last type of designer we are going to look at is system designers. These designers create really well thought out ways of doing things. You may have seen this example in person. The habit trails at the Philadelphia Zoo are an example of a system. The designer of this system had to think about what animals could go through the trails at what times, what other animals they should or shouldn't pass by, and what trails are best for different animals. This system of trails allows the zoo visitors to see the animals in a cool, new way. And without the system design, there could be a lot of chaos with the animals in the trails. There are lots of other designers out there too. Are you ready to design?